Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the latest alpha release of Black Lab Linux. Now, um, this is the first time I've really taken a look at Black Lab Linux and so I'll go through a couple of uh, things um, that I discovered uh, by playing with it for a little while and I'll give you my impressions on uh, what I see so far. Now, I want to take a look at their website. Now I saw this when I looked at DistroWatch and uh, I'll pull up the website and I'll go over a couple things with you. Now Black Lab Linux, this happens to be an alpha release and so um, I would uh, tread carefully with it um, until it comes out in a final release now but I can say that after using it for about an hour I have not had any issues at all as far as stability so it seems as if it's very stable it is based on Ubuntu 14.04 and uh, it's running kernel 4.2, has LibreOffice 5.1, Docker integration. Now, it is stating that it has XF Dashboard, which is a GNOME shell style interface. Uh, I cannot get it to uh, to run at all. Um, I pulled up the um, user guide for XF Dashboard, and none of the uh, activation steps uh, work and so I'm not exactly sure uh, I know what XF dashboard is if you uh, if you Google XF dashboard there is a lot of information it's been out for quite a while um, and if you look at the web update uh, website it does have a lot of information on it now if I scroll down and take a look at the uh, user guide if I open up the user guide it has all of the steps to run XF dashboard uh, but none of them work within um, Black Lab Linux so <clears throat> maybe we can get a clarification on that but in any case um, as I said it is based on Ubuntu uh, the download was, I believe, 2.6 gigabytes. It comes with virtually everything you need to uh, enjoy running Linux. The only thing I had to add, I added GUVC View. Um, Simple Screen Recorder was already installed. I added uh, OpenShot and SM Player. But it has a, a comprehensive list of software. If you take a look, um, for example, in multimedia, uh, it's got pretty much everything that you would need. I added GUVC View, OpenShot, and SM Player. Uh, everything else that you need is here. Uh, for internet, you can see you've got Dropbox, Firefox, Pigeon, Steam. Uh, from for Office, it's pretty much LibreOffice based. Um, it's got Wine pre-installed, uh, Steam for games, and a few other uh, minimal games. Uh, accessories, of course, it's got the usual accessories, um, but it does have a few things that you don't normally see. Uh, for System, it's got Time Shift. For System Restore, it's got UNet Bootin already installed, System Profiler, HTOP. So it's uh, it's full featured. Um, I wanted to take a look at XF Dashboard, but it says just type the command XF Dashboard in a terminal, and that does not work. Uh, I tried it as root. and uh, it just does not activate so I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that but uh, 
it will not work. Now, as you can see, the theme that comes pre-installed, I think, is very nice. However, it is a little bit different. You see the um, window activators on uh, in the upper right? They're a little bit out of the normal sequence. This is to shut the window. This is to minimize. This is to maximize. So they're a little bit out of order as to what we're usually used to, and that takes a little bit of getting used to. In the top right-hand corner, you have your window list, and you can see what is loaded in each workspace. So um, you've got easy access to your workspaces, and also you, you can cycle through your workspaces here. Uh, I did use the uh, driver manager. I'll minimize that. Uh, I did use the driver manager to um, install my NVIDIA and my Broadcom Wi-Fi and both of them installed without a hitch. Have no issues at all if I pull up the you can see I have NVIDIA 35263. That's not the absolute latest, but uh, that is a pretty good version for us for a standard install. Broadcom drive uh, Wi-Fi, as you can see, um, it is. It's not listed as Broadcom here but uh, you can take it from me it is installed all of my Broadcom Wi-Fi networks are installed now there is a device driver manager and additional drivers now additional drivers is what you usually see in a an Ubuntu based distribution however uh, and that is what I used to install my drivers so if I pull them up you can see I'm using NVIDIA and I'm using Broadcom and as I said those installed without a hitch this is seems to be a proprietary uh, driver manager for Black Lab and as you can see it's configured a little bit differently however it does not appear to work as well as the uh, additional drivers module so I'm not sure what the reason is for this but um, I would just stick with the additional drivers this kinda is a little fancy you can see once it once it goes through and updates you can see your NVIDIA I can see my broad, Broadcom but I'm not sure what purpose this serves um, the additional drivers module is tried and true works that's how that's what I would use to install whatever proprietary drivers you need as far as the rest of the settings uh, they're pretty much um, routine uh, for a for an Ubuntu installation uh, I didn't go ahead and, ch and change any of the theming. Um, it comes with Greybird Human, but as you can see, it's got lots and lots of uh, themes pre-installed, which, which is commendable because everybody has different tastes. And so most, you've got new mix. I mean, you've got pretty much everything that you need to find the look that you like. As far as icons, same thing. You can see it's got Vibrancy, Tango, Nimbus, New Curve, Humanity, Elementary. So you've got a, a wide selection of appearance options. You should not uh, have any trouble finding something that you like. Now if you go into desktop, as you can see, the um, selection of wallpapers is really, in my opinion, second to none. Uh, it is the most comprehensive um, listing of wallpapers that I've seen. 
there is a little something for everyone. Uh, really, if you can't find something here that you like, um, I'm not sure what to tell you. It's got uh, lots of, uh, for example, the Eiffel Tower. Um, it's really, really nice. So, as far as appearance goes, theming, uh, the aesthetics of it, absolutely outstanding. Uh, I, as I said, I haven't had any issues with crashing. Um, everything that I've done if, from my proprietary drivers, everything has worked fine, no problems at all. The install went flawlessly. Um, and so I can, I can recommend uh, Black Lab Linux. It's um, a comprehensive system. It, it gives you a lot. Uh, it is a longer download, but I think it's well worth it, especially for someone new to Linux. You can pretty much find all of the functionality uh, that you need uh, within, the, within the applications that are default. And so you, you won't have to do a lot of uh, installing. You'll be able to select what you want. And then once you, you select what you want, what you like, you can always add them to your favorites in your XFCE menu. I would have liked to see uh, and use XF Dashboard because I think it has, uh, based on what I read, it looks like it's uh, got some some merit but I was not able to activate that but XFCE menu no problems at all everything and it's it's even though it's a little bit uh, bloated I won't say bloated but uh, uh, with the amount of software that you get for the download it's still very snappy it, it's it's I haven't had any lagging whatsoever um, everything seems to be running fine and as I said, you've got all your software covered. Uh, so that is uh, Black Lab Linux. Uh, I can recommend it. Uh, it's got a very nice look. Uh, full featured, very comprehensive as far as software goes. Drivers install easily. I believe uh, anybody coming over from Windows would be able to uh, get acclimated to Linux fairly quickly. Uh, the only thing that uh, keeps uh, me uh, a little bit off balance is the the uh, the location of the window uh, buttons. Uh, that's posing a little bit of a learning curve for me, um, but I'm kind of set in my ways, and I'm used to the sequence that I. Am used to so uh, and I'm sure that's configurable um, I just haven't spent the time to go in and find out how I can move these around to be in the standard configuration so guys that is it for uh, black lab Linux I hope you enjoyed the review thank you very much for stopping by please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care